we're not just talking metal, we're talking it all. And that's the same story goes, and this is a perfect example of that. So, is anyone here familiar with our M18 fuel surge? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I got some yeses out here. So we brought uh, our surge hydraulic drive technology to the masses back in 2016. And right as we launched that thing, we started to get the feedback from you guys and a lot of other great people online. We started to say, hey, you know, hey, I love how quiet this thing is. I love the smooth, consistent torque. But come on, man. The exact same kind of stuff that we see those benefits on, it'd be perfect on M12. And so we knew we had to do it, right? 2019 is the year that we bring it out to the market. Uh, so for those of you that might not be as uh, familiar with our uh, surge technology, you know what we started with here, a standard uh, impact mechanism, you know, you know, it's classic hammer and anvil design. You know, it's going to get the job done. It's nice metal on metal, but really what that gets you is two things. One, some peaks and valleys and torque between your driving application. And then the second is it's pretty loud, right? It's a loud application when you're, uh, when you're driving those deck screws or what have you. So, you know, when we went back to the drawing board, 18 volt surge, you know, what we had here was a, a pulsing mechanism, so hydraulic fluid that was expanding and compressing within this mechanism to create that torque. And what that does is it gives you that nice smooth ride, nice consistent torque when you're driving those fasteners, and it's twice as quiet. And that's extremely beneficial. Matter of fact, when we talk about how quiet it is, OSHA requires hearing protection on the job site with anything above 85 decibels. And all the impacts on the field, you're going to see that consistently over that 85 decimal mark. So when you think about the users that one, love M12, or two, love the surge, what, they're working in consistently cramped spaces, occupied zones where other people are working, maybe they're working overhead a lot. So the perfect opportunity to bring it out to M12. So when we talk about this, if there's one thing I want you guys to really take away from this tool is that we did not compromise one single bit. So when you take a look at it and compare it to our standard quarter inch M12 fuel impact, you can see the exact same 5.2 inches in length. It's the exact same weight. We did not compromise on size. When we talk about the power of this tool, this little guy is going to do 450 inch pounds of torque. For those of you keeping track at home, that's the exact same peak torque of our M18 fuel surge. We didn't have to compromise on power. So when you talk about all that that can bring to the marketplace, plus the fact that you're going to put it on an M12 platform with this much lightweight and twice as quiet, we think that uh, your, uh, your viewers are going to really be uh, amped up to see what we can deliver. So let's talk about it a little bit more. I've got a computer over here rigged up to show you how quiet this thing can really get. So, guys, I'm not going to bore you with the overall decibel system, right? But what you need to know is that at every 10 decibels that a tool goes up in noise, it's twice as loud to the human ear. So, we're going to run a competitive subcompact model tool, and then we're going to run the M12 fuel surge. So I threw a couple of household items on there for you guys to compare. Uh, but what you can see is that's well above that 85 dBA. And if you imagine those compact and cramped spaces, enclosed spaces, you know, think of someone that's doing uh, cabinets and they're sticking their head in the cabinet all day. You know, it's not going to be the right benefit, right? So we'll compare that to the M12 fuel surge product. So. When you measure these different tools and you can see these things, you can see that you're going to get a lot of benefit in, in the loudness of this tool. And I'll let you guys try this for yourselves and get, it, get this on uh, this uh, platform and, uh, and see what you can do. But we're not just talking about wood when we're talking M12 fuel surge. We're talking metal too. So a lot of the great features and benefits that we see on 18, we had to deliver in 12. So one thing that a lot of our, our people have come to say and really understand and appreciate is our self-tapping screw mode. So. Being able to have a different setting on the back of this tool to set this in and be able to drive these fasteners with ease. Smooth, consistent torque, and you're not spitting fasteners all over the ground. You're going to save time, you're going to save money, you're going to be more efficient each and every day. So we talk about these tools, there's going to be one more thing about this as I kind of meander my way over to this side. 